Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lala Tips. So in my previous video, I told that we'll be working on the backend system. But before that, we still need to do one page, which is the article detail page. So after completing that, we'll move on to the backend system. Okay, now look here, if we click on this, so nothing is being displayed here. So now let us go to this router. So we need to define a route here, okay? So just before that, let us create a page. So inside the views articles, let us create show dot view. Now let us create a view three component here and let me just return a div from here. So let's say detail, yeah. And now if we go here in the router, now we can define a route here. So we can say, article slash slog like this and if we do it like this then this part will be dynamic so whatever we pass here we can get the information from our api and get the detail of that particular article okay so now we can say so like this we can say here articles dot index here yeah? and articles detail we can say here article says so dot view this name matches the name here okay now if i go here in the browser so you can see here this article detail is now shown so which is coming from here the skeleton of this uh, so page will also be similar to this one so let me just copy this and let me paste it here and let me remove this yeah and now here let me all copy these as well and just paste it here and we don't need articles here for now we can give here image 5 i think we also have image 5 here let me see here yeah we have so let me give here and let's say title so we'll be fetching this from api afterwards in the future okay now here we'll be showing the information uh, regarding the article which will be the category name of the article and the date when it was published and the detail description of the article yeah so so on the top part we'll have two things here so first in this part we'll get the category name and in this part we'll write the date and here another part we'll write the description here okay so let us add some classes here so we'll show this on the left and we'll show this on the right so what we can do here is flex items center justify between okay so this will make them apart so let me just write a here yeah and b and if we go here in the browser you'll see here so a is here and b so it is totally on the left and it is totally on the right okay now here we want to show the date so first also we'll be showing one clock icon here and in the second part we'll be showing here the date actual date so let us take the clock from the hero icons okay let me just paste it here and format it so this one is the clock and here we'll get let's say september 18th and let us add year here let's say 2020 like this and the clock is here now if we go here in the so it is like this now let us design those so here we'll say class flex item center which will add with them side by side and we want text gray to be 700 said yeah and here we can give class as ml dash let's say one uh, if i look here so it's currently looking like this now we want to show the category name so i think uh, showing the category name on the left would be better so let's show that on the left side yeah and on the right side it will be the date and just we can do it like this and they will switch i need to add this up here Okay, they are switching now. Let us write the category name here. Yeah. 
okay let us give some classes so we can say flex items center so they will again add it will again add them side by side and text grace 700 the same thing yeah and again we'll have spg icon on the left and the category name yeah like this and here let us take an icon from here so let us give this one and let me paste it here okay and let us see how does it look here okay it's looking a little bit bigger here so we can give here w4 as 4 and we can give class margin left to 1 here yeah so it will have a little bit so let me save it first and now you can share it is looking a little bit nicer and also i think we can make this uh, date a little bit smaller here so text sm yeah and we can also make this 4 and 4 yeah i think it's looking good here so now we want to show the description of this article yeah So let us just minimize this and here is the description part that we have defined before so we can say p lorem let's say 50 yeah and for now we can give class to the parent let's say mt2 and sm mt4 yeah and let us duplicate this and let's say class mt-4 like this let us see how does it look like here okay I think we need some more space here so we can say MT16 here and for the small mobile phone we can say MT8 we'll look it in the mobile device I think it's looking better here so now if I go here in the mobile device here and if we look here okay yeah for the mobile phone also it's looking good but I think in the mobile phone it would be better if we saw this time just below the category name yeah okay now what we can do here is let me minimize this and let me minimize this right here these two are the category name and date here so if we say here let's say flex dash cool yeah it will add them top and bottom and also we don't want them to be centered on the small screen so sorry on the mobile devices so we'll only be doing it for the desktop so we'll do like this so it is on the left side now yeah and we need to give here margin top empty two let's say and on the desktop we'll say empty dash zero okay okay yeah it's looking a little bit nicer and let us also reduce this margin top yeah so we can say margin top four okay yeah it's looking a little bit nice now and if we go here in the mobile application it is again being this yeah so it is showing on the in a stack now we can do here is mm, sm flex test row like this and now it will take them apart from like this yeah okay now let us uh, add some more here in the description and let's see how does it look like okay it's look like this here so this image is the image that we get from the article okay and this is the article title and this is the category name this is the date when it was been published and this is all the description so so that's all for this video guys from next video we'll be working on the back end system so if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this so thank you for watching have a great day bye